Hi, I'm Sabrina Kawadi, and I'll be playing Logan Schwartz and Grubinier in Niagara University's upcoming production of the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Logan is the youngest competitor in the Spelling Bee, and she's very smart, and she's very driven and determined. She's also very politically active and aware of the world going on around her, but she struggles to live up to the expectations of her two fathers. They have this ideal image of what they want her to be, and she tries really hard to please them. But underneath that, she's just a kid. She wants to succeed. She wants to make friends. <laughs> I love ensemble shows, um, both working on them and watching them. I think it's nice when you get to see into the lives of so many characters and yet relate to all of them in completely different ways, instead of just focusing on maybe two or three main people. In Spelling Bee, it's really nice because everyone is kind of going through the same process of trying to explore their character and figure out what their journey is. This has got to be one of the funniest shows I've ever worked on. Um, the humor is very honest. It's almost like the things people whisper but they don't want to say really loud but everyone's laughing. What's really nice for us is having a baseline of such funny material. We can only go up from there. So it's been really fun to find the comic timing within the jokes that are already available to us. The Niagara University Theatre Department is one of the most comprehensive programs I looked at when I was looking at schools. We do stage combat and we do physical theatre and everyone works behind the scenes. And I would say some of my most rewarding experiences and some of my best learning experiences were when I wasn't on stage. When I directed for the Short Play Festival or I assisted stage managed, just reminding you that everyone is such an important part of a process. And Niagara also is just really good at encouraging people to make the most of opportunities. I think it's a good show to see because I don't think there's anyone that has never felt like an underdog or never felt like they didn't quite fit in or have somewhere to belong. You see the story of people who have their insecurities and the things that scare them and they find something they love and they use it to help them work through it. And I mean, they can't all win, but they all get something they need.